Hello my beautiful chameleons and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, I'm Steph. I love colourful makeup. I was about to say as you can see but I haven't got any on yet. Um, so today's video is super exciting. It's a collab with my beautiful sister chameleon Manuela of Makeup Therapy. Um, I believe Manuela found my channel due to um, my common chameleon makeup for mental health. Um, she has since become such a wonderful part of my life. I adore her. She has two beautiful daughters. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get started. We'll talk about Manuela a bit more um, as we go through. So we decided to use our, both of us got the Glam Shop Advent Calendar. Um, and we wanted to do a collab, both using the products from there. So this is it i've already used the lip balm that came in i love this i have tried a few of these products already but we're doing a full face with them i have most products for the face i've already done my foundation my brows so i have already been using the brushes i mean check that box out how beautiful is that it's green it's sparkly it's steph um i've already used today the foundation brush i adore this i've been using it so much and i use the little angled brush to do my brows so yes um i only have one other brush here to use for cream products but i use that for my cream blush so let's grab a brush so this is the cream bronzer that came in the advent calendar it's the shade sandy i've used it as you can see i've used it quite a bit um i do really really like it um so yeah glam shop my beautiful sister eva sister and chameleon eva um she got me a couple of the palettes a while ago and then a couple of the singles um for my birthday and i'm hooked i got hooked um the eyeshadows are phenomenal the the sparklies just absolutely stunning um so yeah when i saw the advent calendar i i couldn't resist um opening a different thing every day and it's such a variety of stuff in the advent calendar um i will definitely be getting it next year or well, this year now isn't it this year um but yeah the products are just beautiful absolutely beautiful I haven't used the sponges yet, um, just because I never remember to wet them in time. Um, but the brushes I have been using a lot, a lot. So, Manuela is, I call her the classy chameleon. She is so beautiful. She doesn't see it herself. She does such really stunning looks and the eye shapes that she creates are just she just looks so stunning i wish she could see for herself how beautiful she was because she really is and if you don't know who she is then you will find both her channel and her video linked in the description box below if you haven't headed over there headed over there please do Go over, watch her videos, like, subscribe, comment. Um, she really needs to grow because she is so talented so, and such a beautiful person inside and out. Um, she is also in the UK. She's based in... based? She lives in Scotland, um, which I've never been to Scotland and I'm super excited to. At some point... I will be coming to visit Manuela. I won't just turn up, I'll let you know in advance. Um, yeah, the cream bronzer, beautiful. So the cream blush that came with it, actually when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I can make that work because it looks super bright. Um, it's in the shade Sweets, which I think is very apt. I've used this so many times, it's so beautiful. It looks really scary, but as you are about to see, even on the brush, it looks really scary. But you can put on, and it just blends beautifully. I mean, look at that. That's just stunning, isn't it? 
such a beautiful formula. This brush is perfect for applying cream blush. I use it all the time. Um, the found foundation brush I use all the time. I And the one for my brows. I've been using them a lot. Um, today I am going to try to use mostly the Glam Shop brushes. But... I might have to, well, like for the cream bronzer, bring in, bring in an extra. But yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Loving my base today. Loving it. So, next we are using the jelly highlighter. Um, I haven't got my glasses on. I don't think I can see the colour. But this is the jelly highlighter i have used this already and i have to say it is beautiful it is more on the sparkly side when you first put it on but look how that blends in i did put a little bit too much on straight off the bat but so pretty so pretty so yeah, today we're going for a glam new look for the new year. And I, I already know I'm going to absolutely love Manuela's look because she just does such stunning looks. I am super excited to watch her video. Check that out, beautiful. I was super surprised to see also that there was a setting powder, loose setting powder in the advent calendar, and a decent sized one. Beautiful. It says blurring powder, setting and mattifying. I haven't used this yet. Um, I did take the little sticky thing off because um, it's got the twister and I didn't want to be kind of messing around with that. So I'm just going to put a bit in the lid and the foundation I have on doesn't really need setting, so I'm only really going to set over where I've just put those cream products and a little bit on my eyes. Seems really nice and lightweight. Definitely mattifying. it I won't sniff with the thing there it doesn't really smell of anything either the lip balm has a really subtle smell that is beautiful I was super excited to see that we got a face palette in the advent calendar I don't know why I keep saying advent calendar because all of this is from there um so we've got a beautiful bronzer blush and highlight so I'm gonna go in with the bronzer first I have used this palette. I know it's kind of cheating, but I was, I was so excited to try everything. It was Christmas, so yeah, I did try a few things like as I opened them throughout the month just because I couldn't resist at all. But these shades for me are absolutely perfect. I am in love with them. And it's a real nice buildable formula. And then a bit of blush. Yeah, I'm so super happy with all this. I can't wait for this year's advent calendar to go on sale because I will most definitely be picking that up. I may do an unboxing video this year because for this one, which is now last year's, um, I opened them daily. Then I said I might do that again because that was really exciting seeing what I had each day. In the brush set, we've got this. I, I'm not sure if it's meant to be a, a large eyeshadow brush or or what, but I like it for highlighter. So I'm gonna pop on a bit of the highlighter. Again, it's really nice. You can 
make it really subtle you can build it up i've used it a few times as you can probably tell um so i already know i love a lot of these products um i don't know how much of the products i think manuela hadn't used most if not all of them before our collab but yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what she thinks of them all and what she does with them i think they did really well at you like having such a diverse so many different face products i have it there was all different kinds so you can nearly do a full face that was so difficult for me but i guess they couldn't really do foundation concealer in an advent calendar without having to make like loads of different ones i guess um i do wish they would have done two though one for say light to medium skin tones and then one for like um medium or deep to deep dark but yeah i wish they'd done at least like two different ones so hopefully that's something that they will bring in so what i've done because we did receive loads of singles in the advent calendar and two empty palettes um i have put all of my mattes in one and then all of the sparkly goodness in the other hmm for mattes i think i am going to use i think i'm going to go in with this one up here um i'm not gonna take them out to see what they're called because yeah I, i'll probably drop them make a mess everywhere so i am using the um one of the brushes that came in the set it's like a a bigger fluffier brush i've only used this a couple of times because generally i do use much more detailed brushes but where I'm only using the eyeshadows that came in the advent calendar, um, I'm just using the brushes that came with also. And we are going for, it's, it's a much more neutral look than you used to seeing from me, but I am spending 2023 attempting to love neutrals as well as my color i'm never going to love neutrals as much as color but yeah i want to be able to appreciate a neutral look on myself also because i can appreciate them on other people um but for some reason color's just me and i think where i use make doing my makeup colorful makeup it's a, a therapy for me and i know that for manuela it is the same makeup therapy makeup for mental health i think if if you love doing your makeup it's it's a really personal thing isn't it it's like proper you time it's something you do just for you to make you feel good I mean, even those of us with, like, channels, everything we do is obviously stuff, well, I can't speak for everybody, but for myself, it's all stuff that I actually want to film, stuff I want to use, stuff I want to try. I love trying new stuff, especially from indie brands. I have my daughter sat next to me, and she is colouring with designer pens what would you call them alcohol markers yeah decent ones um so she is creative being creative with colouring and i am doing my bit of creativity with makeup i went around the houses there didn't i to explain that <laughs> 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 right i do want to deepen it up i don't know if i want to go yeah i do i'm going to deepen it up a bit with the green map it's like a grungy green 
swampy green I'm just using the same brush um, and just keeping that just in the outer V area and lower crease how many of you guys picked up this advent calendar and if you did what did you think of it I well as you can probably tell super impressed I loved it so much that yes I will definitely be picking up this year's one I just think they did such an amazing job with it but yeah like I said I would like to see them do like at least two different ranges so that people with much deeper skin tones um can also experience experience try the formula and experience the advent calendar because yeah it's beautiful the range of products is impressive i wasn't expecting what have i got lash glue i wasn't expecting such a really good range of products okay so for under my eyes i think i think i'm actually gonna am i am i though <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna go in with this more yellowy beige color i'm terrible at scrubbing color i'm just gonna sweep that along underneath my okay that's too close to my skin tone um so i'm gonna go in with this shade here okay just using the same brush as i just used for that that's better yeah, i think that that kind of yellowy beige color is way too close to my skin tone to show up my skin tone skin color yeah okay going into eyes to the palette where i have Put all of the shimmers what do i want to use hmm i think i'm going to yeah i am gonna do that i think i'm gonna use this shade here um because i do want a lighter one on the lid so let's have a look these do apply better with your finger but you can use brushes also they pick up really nicely either way i think so i'm not going to be using my finger i'm just gonna use the brush let me look at that It's so beautiful and shifty and there's a real nice pink shift in this i don't know if it's gonna show up on camera but it is stunning yeah that's really pretty i actually because i do want to use another one yeah i think with the same brush i'm going to go into this one here or this one no this one i'm gonna go into that one which i think looked purple on the screen there I'm just going to pop this just on the outer part here. Yeah. It's pretty. See, to me it looks taupey. I don't know what colour it's showing up on there. I do love how shifty these are. They are super stunning. Super, super stunning. So for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go into this one here, which definitely has a stronger pink shift than the other. Um, I'm just going to pop a little bit. It is more flaky, this one, so I am being a bit more careful with how much... How much I pick up obviously where I've got my base already done yeah that's pretty I'm gonna put a little bit more on 
just because I really want the pink to show. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I think for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go back into the face palette, into the highlighter. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we did get two cream eyeliners, gel eyeliners in the palette. This green one, this I have used, as you can probably see, I've used this a lot already. Um, so I probably won't use that one. I'll use this one, which I haven't used yet. So, yes, I'm going to go in with that one. Okay, so that's, that's nice. It's not going to be so impactful as such, but it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, I... I'm loving that. That looks beautiful. Maybe I'll just try popping that in the waterline. No, just with a little brush. Okay. I don't know how well it's going to last in the waterline. But it's going in nicely. I... I love this. It looks beautiful. So we'll see. We'll see how well it lasts in the waterline. I will update you guys at some point. You're definitely going to see me using these products again anyways. Um, but yeah, I know that this green one lasted beautifully as wing liner. So... I fully expect this to do just the same. So we're really just testing in the waterline. Well, I'm going to nip off and chuck on some mascara. Is that about it? Yeah, chuck on some mascara. And then I'll come back because we have lashes to try with the lash glue. And the lipstick I've worn a lot already. We'll pop that on. So I'm just going to quickly nip off, pop on the mascara, then we will continue. So, see you in a second. Right, so I've tight lined, popped some mascara on, and now we are going to go in with these lashes. I've already taken them out of the box. So we did get some lash glue in the advent calendar also. Um, I haven't tried this yet, I haven't tried the lashes yet, so let's... They are kind of half lash kind of they are half lashes wow step they look beautiful and they've got a clear band so the glue is actually clear <laughs> i was panicking a little bit thinking oh no if it's black and i mess up on my eyes <laughs> but no it's it's all good Okay, so I've left it for a little bit. Okay, lashes on. Um, I don't think I left the glue long enough to go tacky before trying to stick them on, which is why I had more issues, but they're on. I think they look beautiful nice okay so one product left to use um this i have been using a lot this is the matte lipstick i i don't know what the shade is it's beautiful only one lipstick came in the advent calendar and it's this one so let's pop her on this color is like my perfect nude as you'll see Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. Beautiful New Year glam, I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Manuela, thank you so, so much for collabing with me. I have had so much fun. I cannot wait to watch your video. And guys, if you don't know who Manuela is, her channel is Makeup Therapy. 
you will find her channel and video linked in the description box below please make sure to go and check her out subscribe like comment all of that good stuff she is just super talented super beautiful and super lovely um so yeah if you don't know who she is please go over say i sent you if you want to um but yeah thank you so so much for watching if you are new here or if you're over from manuela's channel hello and welcome i hope that you've enjoyed this and will consider sticking around for some more um if you if you do if you are then please do subscribe come and join my beautiful chameleon family it would be wonderful to have you along for the ride with us so i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon bye yeah. stepping in the spot like she own it looking like the world is your runway she can set it off like a gun play. oh my yeah talk of the city with the body always getting praised like it's sunday she said baby what you gonna do by